Hey everyone and welcome to 2021 and this first episode of Kiteboarding Daily for this year. I hope you all had amazing holidays. Uh, I sure did and I'm fully ready to uh, take on this new 2021 year and what that can bring us. To start off, uh, we actually have some news for this channel. We will actually expand and grow this channel with uh, a podcast. Uh, the podcast called The Forecast uh, Podcast, which I do together with uh, Adrian Kerr, will be moving into Calculating Daily as a playlist called The Forecast. Um, more on that when the first episode arrives. You will notice if you are following and liking this, then uh, you will for sure get noticed when, when it's up and running. So let's get started with this first episode. So uh, we jump straight into it. I'm starting with picture of the week. And the first picture we have today is from Norway. Uh, it is from uh, Plaskeland. Um, and this amazing picture of him uh, shredding the snow up the mountains in Norway. Uh, I really like the lighting of this and uh, yeah, I know Plaskland has seen his pictures before. He's always having a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm, I'm stoked to see this. I'm hoping to get some snow, snow kiting myself, uh, but uh, yeah, we just have to see. Uh, we're trying to find somewhere to go, but nice picture, uh, Plaskland. Next picture is from Van Kite Love. Uh, it's from Cape Town. And uh, guys, uh, I know you know what's happening in Cape Town, and uh, this just uh, brings uh, both uh, makes me a little bit sad, but also brings my, uh, brings a smile to my face because this is what we are used to see. Uh, perhaps a lot more kiters for sure, but uh, this uh, this uh, the, the the kickers rolling in, the kites in the air, the the tankers in the background. You know, we all miss this. Uh, very nice picture, Van Kite Love. Thank you so much for that. Um, next up is a guy who's been on the channel before, Edgar Ulrich, uh, and another, another snow kiting picture. Look at that, guys, with the height of that uh, jump, with the crossing of the skis. Uh, yeah, it's uh, amazing. And he's riding my first snow kite session, which is amazing to be able to do things like that on your first uh, snow kiting session. It is different to snow kite than kiting on water. If you haven't tried it, I recommend if you are able to. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Edgar. You will actually be once again in the episode further down. Uh, final picture of the week is from Alex Neto. Um, I really like this picture and he's celebrating 24,000 followers. Uh, so yeah, keep posting those epic pictures, Alex, and we will for sure keep following you. Uh, I like this palm tree uh, bump uh, and it's really high up as well. So. Uh, yeah, um, for sure want to have some of that, uh, that uh, warm weather and, and nice water as well. Yeah, guys, that was the first episode, first, that was the first category of this year, Picture Week. Now let's move into Trick of the Week. Um, and as I said, once again, Edgar Ulrich on his snow kiting adventure uh, doing this. It is a bit hard to see if he's in the air the whole time, but I'm guessing he is. That's the S loop. Yeah, it seems like he is in the air. Um, if you haven't heard about the S loop before, it's where you pull the kite. Yeah, so you see as an S before it goes up, uh, up to 12 again. Uh, it is a trick that I first heard about and saw uh, Ruben Lenton trying in uh, his and Aaron Hadlow's um, vlog or YouTube channel that they had a couple of years back called On The Loose. Um, unfortunately, that episode with the S-Band, I can't find it on the web anymore, but On The Loose is in, is in there. I can link it. Next trick is from Janik Gregorzewski and his start. This this clip had gone viral. Look at the start. I do like the start. And it's Gil Vlucht helping him there. Cohen Van Dyke filming. But what I do like even more is his, how he ends his session. Look at this. Whee! 
Yeah. One day, Janik, one day, I will do that myself. Um, I haven't tried it, but it looks like real, real fun. Right, final one is, I thought this was, uh, I didn't know if I were going to put it on close call or trick, but I do like this Tom again. It was in the last episode, look at that. <laughs> A little bit dangly, but I really liked how he pulled that off. Look, and then it's with, yeah, way. <laughs> Yeah, nice one, Tom. If anyone can pull that off, it's you, mate. All right. That was the tricks of this episode. Uh, now I want to go into uh, the video of the week. Um, there are a bunch of good videos out there, a bunch of good uh, blogs from big names like Kevin Langray. But uh, I do, I did want to bring up something that is a little more unique that we haven't seen uh, that much before. And I want to bring up the Whaley's. Uh, guys, if you haven't heard about the Whaley's, I'm guessing you have, but if you haven't heard about the Whaley's, um, it is an award show for us kiteboarders. Um, it's done by uh, Adrian Kerr together with Colin Colin Carroll. And they tribute uh, to some of the, the best performers and, and worst performances uh, of 2020. Um, and yeah, just uh, hear this uh, beginning, this intro to the waiters. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the kiteboarding event you've all been waiting for. I'm Adrian Kerr, that's Colin Colin Carroll. Welcome to the Wales. Guys, um, it's so much fun, uh, and it's. Uh, I know it's been hard, hard work for these guys to pull this off and make this uh, look as epic as it is. Uh, I will link to it below. Make sure to check it out uh, and keep, you know, following these guys. All right, guys, uh, it's time for the crashes of the episode. Um, I'm gonna start with a little bit of snow kiting, and I think he, this one, says it all. This is my year 2020. Sums up my year. <laughs> Mark B said, "Why?" Uh, I can feel that. I don't know if it had a snowboard, but in the water, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of crashes in there, mate. Uh, good one, I hope you are okay. <laughs> uh, next up is, uh, this is actually a kite mare. This is every kite warrior's worst uh, nightmare. Um, Marios Chan Sanchez is I don't know exactly what happened, but he gets uh, twisted in his lines for some reason. And look at this, guys. Yeah. Everything looks good from here. And then something happens when he falls. There he falls. And look at the kite. Yeah, it's just con continue to be in a death loop. Um, yeah, he said in a comment here that he got the line, he landed on the lines, so we got the lines tangled around him. I, we don't see the end of this, but uh, I'm, he's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Marius, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's not something we want to be, uh, to be experiencing. Um, but thank you so much for posting that. Um, then we have this count, Bastion Lab Pro. Uh, they actually have two crashes that I want to bring up. One is just so much fun. Look at this, I was laughing so much when I saw this. Because that was the first fall. Was that it? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it gets pulled away. Look at this again. Ah, he falls. 
And just when you think it's all good, whee, goes again. Yeah. So much fun. Make me laugh. Thank you so much. And the second one. This 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 got me thinking. I'm hoping it's his gear that's on the beach. Look at this. Um jump. Jump so this girl try yeah high five and then whoa <laughs> so when I first saw this I was expecting him to like tackle the girl or something like that but I didn't expect him to to land on the gear on the beach. All right, thank you so much, Bastian. Uh, I've been posting a lot on the hashtag kiteboarding daily. Thank you so much for that. All right, to finalize the crash section, uh, this is something I've experienced myself. If you have, you know, the exact feeling. Uh, yeah, um, this is not, not good. Uh, and as you can see, they are trying to, yeah, they're looking to see how we can find it. Happy Monday. This dude wished it was Tuesday already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you, uh, you do. Uh, so yeah, hope you got that kite down. Um, I know when I did it, I had to patch it up a bit, but it was good to go. Uh, same brand actually that I put in my, my tree as well. That's it guys, crashers. Um, however, we have one category that is almost a crash and that is the close call of the week. Uh, and this one goes to Silron Main. Exactly. Um, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, that's so close. You still have my last bit of dumb luck for 2020 today. Yeah, you have brand new uh, bag of dumb luck for 2021, uh, mate. So keep posting those close call videos. All right, look at this one more time. Look at the boats. And almost. It's not, it's not only one boat, it's like almost hit three boats in one, one jump. Uh, could, could slide on that bo uh, boat, uh, <laughs> actually. Yeah, if you had that. All right. Um, we also want to bring up uh, a profile for this week. And it is uh, someone I'm, I have, I know um, since a long time, but uh, I hadn't looked that much into her uh, YouTube channel, her vlog. And it's uh, Pippa van Irsel. Uh, and I do really enjoy watching her uh, vlogging. She is an amazing tiger. Uh, she is uh, amazing in front of the camera. And from what I understand, she is edit editing her uh, videos herself. And uh, since I do that myself as well, I know how hard it is to get those cool shots, those transitions, those effects in there. And she really nails it. So Pippa, uh, good work. I really enjoy uh, watching your series um, and I will continue, of course, to, to uh, go through everything you put out. Uh, you can also find her Instagram account uh, here and also a little bit of a video to show uh, how great of a kiter she is. Look at this, a Kung Fu Pass. And a massive move. <laughs> yeah, so much energy in this uh, gal as well. Um, ooh, crash. Another loop. Yeah, thank you so much, Pippa, for uh, for posting, uh, uh, having your channel and posting your uh, content. I, I truly appreciate it. So, Profile of this week is Pippa van Eersel, a uh, Dutch uh, pro rider. Uh, she, uh, yeah, just go follow her channels and give her the support. Uh, really looking forward to see where you are taking things for 2021, Pippa. Good. All right, guys. Uh, Final category for this first episode is what we call community. And it's what I've found, uh, well, Basically, most of them are from the, uh, the, the hashtag Kiteboarding Daily. Uh, I do want to start with something that is not from that hashtag, but I do think it's important to bring up. And it's the situation we have in the world and especially in um, uh, Cape Town uh, this year. It is unique uh, just 
well, it's not unique. It's it's the same situation we have in many uh, countries. But the uniqueness of it being in Cape Town is that we unfortunately won't be seeing King of the Air uh, now uh, in February that we hope to. Uh, it will be moved until the end of the year, hopefully November or December. Uh, so we do have something to look forward to. But uh, as you might know, there's a bunch of, uh, it's a team down there called Dirty Habits. Um, and uh, they posted this video. And I think the message here is, when you are going through hell, don't stop. Yeah, guys, don't stop. Keep going, uh, and we will soon see you ripping uh, those uh, Cape Town uh, kickers again. Yeah, and uh, here are some more contributions through the kiteboarding daily hashtag. We start from Denmark. Uh, Joe Kite Maniac is showing us how to ride an inflatable crocodile. Uh, this put an extra little bit of smile on my face because this was part of uh, the community project, kite, um, the kite games that I uh, was part of during this uh, during 2020. Uh, but yeah, thank you, uh, Joe, for keep on riding that crocodile even though the competition is over. Um, next up is uh, the uh, the young amazing ripper from uh, Holland, Jamie Overbeek. Look at this picture. Uh, I mean, that is a massive board off, and it's probably a, a, a male. It looks like a male board off, and um, yeah, you can see it there, <laughs> Jamie. I mean, yeah, you are amazing. Uh, keep on pushing uh, like that. And uh, we will for sure uh, have you on this channel many, many times. Uh, th thank you very much for posting that. Uh, we also have from a, an account called Photo Alex Elena. This is a dramatic picture, I think. I like the colors. Uh, there are some. Uh, filtering going on on it for sure of course uh, but yeah um, it's an, it's an, it's a really nice picture and um, thank you for posting it on the channel uh, photo Alex Alina our brother from Denmark Mikkel Hansen uh, is on it again this is for sure how to start a cold water session uh, this is the first Monday of 2021. Yeah, uh, keep on uh, riding like that all year uh, long, Mikkel, and I will for sure uh, enjoy watching it. Final one is from our twins in the UK, uh, the Kite Twins. Uh, yeah, I think this picture is really good. I like uh, how you managed to, uh, to uh, capture that moment. Uh, you can see the spray from the water, which I love. Uh, quite easy to see which brand you're riding for. Uh, yeah, amazing picture. Thank you so much for posting. Uh, and to all, the, uh, all of you other guys who posted with the hashtag Cactuating Daily, thank you so much. Uh, I will link uh, to the hashtag below so people can uh, go in and see all the great pictures. So with that, Thank you so much for this first episode. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon again. Uh, have a great one and keep ripping, stay safe. Bye guys.